<laughs> Yo, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Stone. Stone Wars Episode 8, The Final Battle, bro. Can we please just talk about how great this episode was, man? I'm so hyped. First off the bat, 11 out of 10 episode. It 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 went way past my um my understanding, it went past my everything I had hopes for. It just beat everything in my sense. Like this episode was fucking fantastic. And I think this is what we built for for last like the latter, like at least what? 24 like i want to say episode 12 like around episode 12 8 20 episodes we've we built we've built this up for the longest time now we've wanted to see this and oh my god man <sighs> this episode man this starts off with showing us how senku washed up towards the the miracle cave and exactly like how it's, it's kind of like reminiscing of like how everything started with them taking over the cave and them having those 20 seconds ukiyo providing his um ear ear sight i would say his his ear hearing his hearing basically to predict how far away sukasa and um what is the hyoga are, are from getting there oh my lord man i was just excited to see them just charge to like go through all the little traps to fight the enemies it was so dope it was avengers it was like the justice league coming together bro i said senku's batman um taiju obviously is superman bro it is so dope seeing everyone fight together man it's something that i've been i don't think i've ever thought about but i didn't think i, I needed it and i i am just blown away seeing taiju be the shield for everybody seeing kohaku lead the battle with gin and kin like seeing it all just work and mesh well together was amazing oh my lord it was just so fun it was just a, such a fun thing to see them all fight these guards to you know beat them through to see uh <laughs> nikki end up tying up uh what's her name uh mini me to keeping her from getting free uh it was just like a fun episode man like I, I feel like there's not a lot to talk about because it's all action orientated um the animation was fantastic as well like this episode was just fucking amazing man i cannot rave about it way too much so let's just let's, let's talk about it again we we left off where their chart like saying who's having reminiscent reminiscence of when he first woke up and how it's been a year now and it's finally time that we take the miracle cave he reminds everybody that 20 seconds is the needed amount of time to to capitalize on all every, all the Sukasa's army's confusion and panic to push them away from the cave and tie them down and beat them. It's so fun to see how uh, even um, Kin is like, yeah, we're doing that. We're not killing anyone. And he looks at Ukyo and Ukyo smiles and it's just that cool little bro bromance that I wish we I hope we can see later down the you know rabbit hole of them being more friendly with each other with each other. We know that Yuzihara and um, Kohaku's older sister are taking a, or, you know, they're with the old people. I think they went back to the village or something. Are they still at the campsite? I'm not fully sure, but that's where they're posted up at the moment. Um, we see Suka we see them just running through everybody. Uh, I, like I said, seeing seeing um, Taiju be the shield for everybody, so that way they don't know what to do. Because remember, they're thinking, how do we disarm them? How do we beat them? everyone has their own way of doing it magma is knocking people out so is kuhaku's dad um they're tying them down right when they beat them down um kuhaku and gin and gin kin and gin are using the weapons to break the other weapons down they're speeding through again uh, and senku and uh chrome are taking the tank and running through all the traps trying to break them through the, just so they can get to the miracle cave eventually they're like oh, they stop a little short but thank god for magma because he comes in he grabs a, a nice copper dish and they have a sonic bomb, bro. Dude, <sighs> Senku was fucking dangerous, man. Senku made a sonic bomb in the stone world and he was able to deafen it. It's kind of like a like a sound grenade or anything like that. That's, a, that's, a, that's basically what they made. And with that alone, where they were able to uh, like disarm and disorient the guards that are right in the cave and uh, by the cave. Eventually, uh, they were able to knock the shield off of Magma's hand, and Chrome and <laughs> both 
Chrome and Senku are like, damn, we don't have the bomb. We don't have anything to do. And Taiju races to the front. He was, he's a freak of nature. Taiju is, like I said, he's Superman, bro. He's a freak of nature. He uses every power in his lungs to scream into the copper par um, parabola. If you guys don't know how a parabola works, it's basically the sound that's hitting it travels all around it. So it makes sense how that sound waves were able to dis disorientate everybody behind Taiju. And him not get afflicted by it as well. Since he's the one making the sound. Um, because he's he's in he's not in the direction of the sounds travel. But again, like I said, man, this episode was fucking amazing. Seeing them capture the miracle cave, seeing um Su not Sukasa, Taiju remember like it's all it's all here, Senku. A year ago today, we were able to um, you know, beat this. We were able to come together and, you know, remake the or begin our 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 um our what would you even say our adventure or our mission to save everybody so right when they get the cave they're reminiscing they're celebrating everyone's happy and senku's the first one to be like no bro <laughs> we still haven't won we won the cave but now we need to defend it knowing that um sukasa and hyoga are on the way they're like okay look we, we need to make some gunpowder we need to be ready to throw some weapons down because these fuckers are coming and like clockwork man like clockwork Hyoga spears ukyo ukyo hears it and he's already down they already broke one jar of um the gunpowder and there you have sukasa and Hyoga both looking rip doing the jojo poses i was just like god damn man these these guys are shredded Whew, man I, I i'm gonna be shocked to see what happens next and something cool is like they have a nice little moment where they're like you guys already lost we're here both of us together you got you don't have a chance and senku goes no we do have a chance we're not by ourselves taiju it's not going to happen like last time we have an army to buy us time and i think that's the the race right now is everyone is going to fight hyoga and tsukasa these guys are both tanks and they're going to try to run through the whole army i guarantee they're only going to have at least 15 seconds maybe to like craft or make do with whatever they have I did notice that a lot of the gunpowder spread out through the battle, so I wouldn't be surprised if they use that to do a big old explosion. Again, I still think Hyoga is going to betray Tsukasa. I don't know why. I just feel it. I feel like he's going to. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that Yuki Ukyo got knocked out of the fight right off the bat, but that's fine. That's fine. I think Taiju and somebody else are going to go up against Tsukasa, maybe Kohaku. And everybody else is going to go against um, Hyoga. I can see that fight being more played out that way. I really hope that if they're going to run through these people, that they can at least put up a decent fight. But if it's going to be like a nice, like kind of battle battle, I would be I would be against seeing like a nice pair offs or something. Again, it's going to be amazing to watch this uh, fight scene next week, and just to see Chrome and uh, Senku both race both run towards um you know <laughs> the cave to make the nitric acid i love the ending speech of like the one who was gonna rule the stone world the one who's gonna like rule humanity now is the one who has the natural strength you know the natural gifts that the world has given them or the people who have gained science the natural gift of humanity like is it the people who received the blessings of humanity or who've made the blessings is what it seems like the fight's really gonna be about and like I said, man, I'm, I cannot wait, man. This this whole episode is 11 out of 10. It's S tier, man. It's it went beyond my expectations. I can't even I can't even breathe because I was just like I I wasn't ready for this. I was not ready for it whatsoever. But man, my favorite parts again. There's nothing. There's nothing I didn't love about this episode. Everything about it is something I needed. This is gonna be it for the review, guys. This is. 11 out of 10 episode man s tier this is your boy poppy wolf saying peace out man watch dr stone i've been telling everybody dr stone is is actually killing it <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out love y'all take care remember 1000 subscribers late